Kyle Katarn is a human male born 23 BBY on Sullen, a colony moon of Sullust. Kyle was raised by his parents, Morgan and Patricia, on their farm. Patricia died due to a droid malfunction when Kyle was still a boy. The loss of his mother weighed heavily on Kyle and his father. Around the time Kyle turned 18, he wanted to do more to help his father. For someone born in the Outer Rim, formal education wasn't readily available. Kyle broached the subject of joining the Imperial Academy to his father. Morgan was sympathetic to the rebellion, but he agreed to let his son enlist. Academy training was demanding, but Kyle found he had natural aptitudes for much of the work. He excelled in engineering, cybernetics, and information architecture. He was also schooled in a piling a variety of Imperial ships, hand-to-hand -hand combat, fencing, target shooting, and tactics. It seems the only bit of training that Kyle couldn't get used to was patrolling in stormtrooper armor. This says a lot about the armor, but it's also a great indication of things to come in Kyle's future. As cadet leader, Kyle was tasked with leading a raid on a rebel base tucked into an asteroid. He started to experience odd premonitions that he acted on which saved the lives of many of the men in his command. The rebels, being overwhelmed, surrendered, but the order of the day was to execute them. Kyle thought this unnecessarily barbaric and argued with his commanding officer, Sergeant Major Hong, that rebel prisoners would be much more useful. One rebel in particular, Jan Ors, was spared by Kyle because the two had a unique bond. Kyle would later learn this was caused by the Force. At his graduation, a strange man named Jarek extended an invitation to Kyle to join those with power. Kyle felt a wave of cold shoot through his nervous system. He could feel, practically see the thoughts and feelings of those around him. The wave stopped suddenly, leaving Kyle shaken when Jarek stepped away. Right around the time of these events, Kyle's father was killed. Kyle was led to believe that a rebel cell was responsible. Random circumstance, or if you ask me, the Force, brought Kyle and Ors together once again. Ors had concrete proof that it was in fact the Empire that killed Morgan Katarn. This put Kyle on his path to defect from the Imperials and join the Rebel Alliance, where his Imperial training would help him on multiple missions against the Empire. During his time with the Rebellion, Kyle would work closely with Ors. The two would eventually fall in love. One mission put Kyle Katarn on the path to recovering the Death Star plans. Jin Erso and a small band of Rebels actually recovered these plans, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Kyle didn't give it a shot. He was sent to Denuda, where Erso's team found them on Scarif. During recovery from a serious injury, a vision came to Kyle from the Force. He was visited by the Force spirit of Jedi Knight q -Ron. Ron had survived Order 66, but was murdered by the Dark Jedi Jarek, the same man who killed Kyle's father. Kyle was told about a nexus of power called the Valley of the Jedi. Jarek was looking for the valley to draw power from it. Kyle was tasked with embracing his connection to the Force and stopping Jarek. Ron revealed he had been following Kyle for some time through the Force and was nudging him along his journey to train in the Force. After this life-altering experience, Kyle returned home to Sullen for the first time since leaving for the Academy. After reconnecting with Ouija, the family droid that was Kyle's best childhood friend, he saw a recorded message from his father, and he found the location of Q-Ron's green-bladed lightsaber. His path to becoming a Jedi Knight was rushed as he raced Jarek and his followers to the Valley of the Jedi. Kyle's Jedi journey was tough externally as he took on Imperial forces, and internally as he battled with his drastically changing life and strong pull toward the dark side. Kyle's resilience, adaptability, and ability to learn quickly saw his path to Jedi Knight be a successful one, allowing him to ultimately defeat Jarek. It wasn't until the time of this pivotal showdown that Kyle and Ors would profess their love for each other. While the Jedi we would meet just before the fall of the Republic forbade these feelings, the love of Ors was crucial in keeping Kyle from falling to the dark side. Though Kyle was a Jedi Knight, he stayed loyal and active in the Rebel Alliance as well. He would eventually go on to serve the New Republic. When the Yuuzhan Vong challenged the galaxy along with Luke Skywalker's New Jedi Order, Kyle was right there, willing and able to help. Kyle's journey goes further past even these events, but now we're deep into Legends territory. We will be covering these events in future transmissions. From a modest beginning as a farmer to an Imperial officer, a rebel agent, and then a Jedi Knight, and eventually even a Jedi Master who would sit on a newly formed Jedi Council, the legend of Kyle Katarn embodies everything I love about Star Wars mythology. Personal loss, self-discovery, adventure, and redemption. The recent re-release of Dark Forces brought back a flood of memories of following Kyle's journey from games to novels to comics. The adventures of Kyle are fun to interact with in every medium, but also dig deeper and, once again, prove why we're all drawn to this franchise year after year. 
Check out this transmission next for more Legends characters.